Yeah, there's his tail there. Gonna catch him. Probably grab him bite near or something. Yeah, they all want to watch that. Oh my god, seriously. They're just so ridiculous. Aren't they just ridiculous? Like, Where is he? Just in here, you can see him. They're absolutely hilarious. Like, what is he doing? Thinks that we can't see him. <laughs> Been eating too much ice cream. Alrighty, now for the fun part. Come on, buddy. I want to cut you up. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah, or just one. Yeah, <laughs> so we're on our way home from picking up the lace monitor. We've got a kookaburra on the way and we've come across this good boy. He's the goodest boy, except he's running in front of cars. So we're going to take him to the vet and hopefully they'll find his owners. Won't we, buddy? He's a good boy. In this box here, guys. I have a big male lace monitor that was running an absolute muck around the suburbs for about a week. I'll tell you a bit more about that later. He is in here, so he's been sleeping, so he's probably not going to be super active because he's going to be tired and cold. But there you are, big fella. How's that sun feel on you? You all right? You're a beautiful big boy. So before I let him out, I have a one-week-old baby goat. <laughs> He's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Who I need to put somewhere else before our lace monitor feels a bit hungry and she ends up a snap. So we'll move her out into the paddock with her mum and then I want to get this guy out and make sure he's got no problems with him. You do not know what you're dealing with there, little miss. No, no, come on. Ugh. Come on. You're very beautiful. You can go and meet your auntie and uncle today. There you go. Oh, she's scared. Oh, these lovers. Anyone who's not in Australia, look at this. <laughs> so they're called mask mask lapwings or plovers, and they're just relentless. They've got a Oh, they got a nest just in my paddock. It's all the way over there. Where are they? There you go. <laughs> they got a nest over in my paddock. It's not anywhere near me. It's dead set 50 meters away. You stay in there. They dead set as soon as I come outside, they just start attacking me. There's four eggs on the nest and hopefully they hatch pretty soon so they end up leaving me alone. But our little one, I think she's nine days old today. She's about to meet her uncle and auntie. Off she goes. <laughs> Alright, back with our lace monitor or goanna. I'm in this bit of my house where he can't really, mind the mess, where he can't really run away or bail up a tree. Should be pretty safe here. And at this size, they're not, they don't really bail on you. They know that they're big enough and you can't really hassle them too much. So they sort of just cruise around, hiss at me and tell me to piss off. But when you do, oh, there he is. Look at that. You can see that big opening on the bottom of his mouth there, that's actually the glottis. So that's used when they're eating, when they're running, they can still breathe. If they've got a mouthful of food, they can still breathe. If they're running, they open their mouth and the air goes in there and they can still breathe. That's why they can run for so long and not really tire out. Those little razor sharp teeth. Get bitten by them, they sever tendons, bleed like buggery. 
This could be fairly stupid, but I do need to check that he's 100% okay before I release him back into the bush. Because he was cruising around the suburbs for about a week. Sometimes that happens and they end up getting run over. They can get run over and they're still surprisingly strong and agile. If that's the case, I will notice a bit of a limp or sometimes they walk around in circles, but he's looking pretty good. We've just got to get him out of the box, give him a walk around so I can really test, really test out, make sure everything's work on him. No injuries to his limbs, no injuries to his body or anything like that. And then we can try and get him back in this box and take him home straight away. All right, you need to come out so I can have a look at you and then we can take you home. I said before, when they're this size, they don't really run away from you because he knows he's the boss. He knows he can get me if he wants to. <laughs> when they're the little ones or younger or females or even smaller size, you can put them out and they just hit the leg, bang, gone. And then that's an easy test, but I need to get this guy to walk around somehow. Body movement, all the limbs are going. Big agile beast is running into the box. <laughs> Just as I call him agile. That's enough movement for me, guys. He's got all the limbs moving. He's on the move, his tail whipping, he's hissing. He did a big poo on me yesterday, which shows he's nice and well fed. He's ready to go home. <laughs> Completely fine, healthy, strong. Feisty lace monitor. You wanna go back in your box? That's good because I'm about to put you in there. <laughs> Alright, let's try chucking him back in and let's take him home. He's ready to go. No idea how he's wandered the suburbs for a week and not ended up attacked by a dog or a car or anything else. Oh look he's oh god. He's done the hard job for me. Go on. In your box. Oh, he's too heavy, he's gonna break my box. How good is that? I've never had something contain itself before. Oh yeah. <laughs> you just whip the camera, there you go. There you go, curl up in that. I mean, it's not much, but that shows how, just how intelligent he is. He's been in there for 10 hours just overnight and he knows that's his safe place. He knows if he gets back in there, the lead's going on. And he's safe, quiet and comfortable. They're just honestly such intelligent animals, it's incredible. Oh. Dead set, they are big animals. I don't know if you can tell from the video or not, but they are big. And it would eat our little goat, no worries. They can sit here. It's time to go and get, her name's Belle. It's a baby Belle, like the cheese. We'll try to go and get her out of the paddock and bring her back up here so she's safe. She's running an absolute muck down there. She's having the absolute time of her life. Come on. You don't want to go back up, do you? Come on, you've got to come back up. Oh. These birds, man. <laughs> Alright, there you go, girly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Take our big fella home and see what else is in store for today. Won't we, baby girl? Come on. <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. Aren't they ridiculous? Alright, I'll see you at the next spot.
We are back. We're our lace monitor, our goanna, where he belongs. We're out in the bush, the original bush where he would have come from. I've come to the center of it, so hopefully he doesn't end up out in the burbs again. And I've just found him a nice old dead tree here behind me, a beautiful old dead tree. He's gonna be able to climb up that. He can sort of check his surrounds, work out where he is, work out if he wants to go that way, that way, that way, or that way. And if he's feeling a bit lazy, there's actually a, a pipe under the path, a big long pipe which he'll fit in, and that'll make a snug place for him to spend the night. That's if he's lazy, but he ain't very lazy. He's active and raring to go. Out in this fella's natural bush, in natural home range and habitat where we are. It's gonna be feeding on birds, bird eggs, small mammals. In here, in this bushland where we're absolutely surrounded by suburbs, uh, industrial areas that way, there's also gonna be introduced rats. Not great for a lot of our native animals. However, these guys would absolutely go ham, which is good because these guys take down some of that population. Fantastic food source for these guys in particular. Now more on this exact individual. He was probably, God, He's made his way all the way to the end of this bushland here. He's made his way through an industrial area, out into the suburbs. No idea how. It's Friday today. We caught him yesterday. We've had calls since, I think, Monday this week. People are like, oh, I've got a lace monitor. You come out, it's gone. The next day, oh, I've got a lace monitor. You come out, it's gone. To be honest, I've been so stressed all week thinking, oh no, he's going to end up being run over or attacked by a dog or anything like that so when the call came in last night that he was in the guy's shed i called him shut the door i'm coming right now we're going to catch him and we're going to take him back home and that's exactly what we've done we'll send him up here now he can work out where and what he wants to do enjoy guys they're just absolutely incredible animal never get over seeing these guys and i'm just going to open up the box sit back I'll let him come up and out, work out where he wants to go, give him that decision. And if he decides he doesn't want to come out, I might have to give him a bit of a poke. <laughs> hey, big fella, you're home. You're home, you big, beautiful boy. All right, might take a seat back over here and then we can watch him leave, hopefully. Licking that tongue, smelling the air, realizing he's home. So they have a, what's called a Jacobson organ in their mouth. So they have the fork tongue, they flick that, and each side of the fork picks up the scents, the smells in the air, comes back into the mouth, rubs on that Jacobson's organ, and that's how they smell. Use it for finding food, finding mates, finding their location, working out where they are. You can see he's really getting that tongue flicking now. He knows he's home. He seems to really like his box, so I'm gonna give him a bit of a move along. It's just tricky because he's so big, he knows he can beat me up if he wants to. The little ones, they'll shoot straight up the tree, but this guy, he's, he knows he's the boss. There we go, a happy, or not so happy, but healthy lace monitor. So he'll go up there, lay on a branch, soak up some sun, charge up, and then he can decide where or what he wants to do for the day. Absolutely stunning. See you, big fella. Do yourself a favor and stay in the confines of the bushland. I don't want another call for you, please. See you, big fella. And how good is that? It honestly does not get much better. He's completely unharmed and he's back home where he belongs. The only problem is he's caused a couple scared people with him running through their homes. I suppose most people would get scared with a dinosaur running through their house, wouldn't they? <laughs> he's back home. I'm gonna head back out of the bush here, jump back in the car. We'll see what else in store for today. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you on the next one or at the next spot. Now going to another red belly now that's stuck in netting in a pond, so it's doubly stuck. Yeah, got me little fingernail scissors that'll come in handy. Got my torch. All right, I'll see you up there.
That was a nice little easy one. Five minutes up the road for a change. Very different to normal. Five minutes up the road and easy. And he's not injured. Fantastic. I do want to keep him. <laughs> so I got to laugh. I'm actually happy and over the moon with that. I am going to keep him just overnight just because he was only stuck there for half the day, but he's going to be exhausted. He's going to be wet and cold. So I'll just keep him overnight, get him warm, get him charged back up and I'll release him first thing in the morning. But all in all, I'm absolutely stoked with that. And now we are heading to something different. May or may not film this one. Nah, I'll film it. I'll see you there. This just is not stopping. So I've just dropped off our echidna at an echidna carer and they're just gonna look after him for the night. It's cold, wet and raining at the moment so it's not the greatest to release him. And he was breathing quite heavily so he was quite stressed from the interaction with the dog. But other than that, he looks completely fine. It looks like he's got no damage as usual. The dog cops most of the damage. And now we're heading to a possum. So I'll see you at the possum. <laughs> Non-stop. I successfully caught our brush tail possum. He's got a bit of a wound on his left leg. Doesn't seem to be causing too much worry. He was running away from me, he was really active. He got me pretty good with it, to be honest. We can give him some antibiotics, heal that up so there's no problems, no risk of infection in the future. So I'm gonna run him down to our possum care and now I'll get him nice and safe and then hopefully I can go home for the day. This silly bugger in the pouring rain. Long neck turtle. Night time, what are you doing buddy? Come on, cross the road. This day, oh there he goes. Shooting his stinky glands on me. So when you're crossing the road, just take them the way they're headed. Oh, wasn't gonna get too far, there's a fence here. Do you wanna go through there? There you go buddy, you can go in there. You're not gonna get run over that way. Keep going, off you go. All right, he's safe from there. All right, back in the car. <laughs> this day is never ending. What an absolute day. To top it off, we got a long neck turtle on the road. Ridiculous. Finally home, wet and cold. I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning guys, I'm back out here where our red belly in the netting came from yesterday afternoon. And this property is just absolutely beautiful habitat from him. Just brought him a little bit away from the house so he's not near the pond with the netting. But he's got this beautiful dam here and all bushland where it all runs down along there and he can live a live a safe and happy life work out where he wants to go and hopefully not end up back in any netting <laughs> our kidna is actually getting released right now by our kidna carer he's completely fine and there's a beautiful bushy patch on the land where she's going to take him down and release him he's super active and ready to go our possums with our carer so good news all around everyone's safe and sound and happy and being returned back home. Now let's get this guy out of the bag. How cool is that he's got a little burrow? Today's not the sunniest day, so he can stay in there for the rest of the day and maybe the sun will come out this afternoon and he can work out what he wants to do. But what a video, guys. We've had a successful lace monitor, successful echidna, successful possum, and a successful red belly. I'm probably missing something else, but I'm happy with that. This is definitely gonna be the end now. Hope you enjoyed, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you on the next.